Ooh, it's windy. All of a sudden, it got a little windy. I know. We gotta put those umbrellas down. Oh yeah. Another thing, got three California umbrellas. Uh huh. Let me show you guys. I mean, they're not even a year old. Can't see them. Hold on. Yeah. They're cracked. They're snapped. The uh, the arms snapped a little snapped. bit. Snapped. All look. Not all of them, but a couple. Those of things them. are five hundred dollars each too. Crazy. Where do we get those? You remember? I think I got them at Walmart. Oh, by the way, this is your daily smash for Thursday, <laughs> April 18th. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. No, I got them at One's King Lane. One King Lane, and then I think I bought... I remember that. And then I bought another one. At, I bought, I think, one at Walmart. They were not cheap. We just bought another one, a pink one. For On over One's there. King Lane. And that was like 500 bucks. Right, because it was blush pink. Well, what's remarkable to me is that they can withstand the desert heat. Well, because it's umbrella. So the fabric lasts longer than the plastic that holds the fabric up. Exactly. And there's metal in there too. And you looked it up and you found that there's a replacement part. You can actually take them apart and put the, the that, cover. That's what they told me at H3K. I'm trying to get a hold of the California umbrella. Mm -hmm. And they make you talk to a bot. I hate that. Oh, speaking of things we love. <laughs> mm -hmm. We love the umbrellas. We love our Ilya wine. Tell me how much you love Ilya wine, honey. I love Ilya wine so much. I want to break this open. Mm -hmm. My cousin's still here, but we're going over to some friend's house tomorrow, I think. Or we might go to some opening of a restaurant. Yeah. Uh, but I want to keep this for my friends because this is a wine that I like to share with my friends, mm -hmm. my family. And it's just something that's just so enjoyable. <laughs> These are Spanish grapes. This is the Roble Red, very highly rated. They have a terrific rose, rose, and the Moscatel Macabeo might be our favorite. It comes in a beautiful blue bottle. Ilia Wine is a, uh, uh, a small company, small business. They, uh, Layla Joy Williams created it. She is in Spain, but she's American. Uh, was in fashion in New York for many years and is living her dream now. She's a lovely lady. Living her best life. And making a terrific wine. And if you support our show, and you support Ilya Wine, you're supporting a small business, and you're supporting our small business. So we appreciate that very much. Yeah, Go support to, support us, which is a small business. Uh-huh. And when you can be in our business. <laughs> That's stupid. So go to Ilya.com, and if you order three or more bottles, you'll get free shipping. And she also has some really sweet-smelling candles. <sighs> Ilya.com. We are um, admittedly hungover. It wasn't from Ilya Wine, it was from tequila for me. I don't know about you. Uh, I think it was from the champagne that Tara brought over. Oh, we had a really fun barbecue last night. I mean, it went, it raged. Yeah. <laughs> it went on forever. That's the I don't thing. know why they were, they were even concerned about this pickleball. The pickleball doesn't make noise. It's our mouths that do. Yeah, we do make a lot of noise. And I have to say, we did play pickleball uh, yesterday and uh, love the game. Absolutely love the game. It's a good time. Can we talk about really quick? Every A lot of you guys were sending me the David Yontef uh, thing about Megan. Megan King Edmonds yeah. talking about me. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I try to listen to it, but it was just such nonsense. Yeah. You know, she was like, Kelly couldn't see... The forest through the trees? The forest through the trees with the Bronwyn thing. Oh, no, baby. I saw right down, like... Uh, yeah. like you saw it. Uh, right right really and clear, clearly. okay? I'm yeah. sorry to tell you. That chick is a whack job. Doesn't put her kids first. Mm -hmm. uh, her kids complain about her on social media. They hate her guts. Um, what do I not see clearly? Yeah. What? Um, maybe you don't see clearly. You get married and divorced like a month later. You're putting your kids through hell on social media. Like I thought it was weird that she got married and with all those little kids, her own kids, and didn't even consider where they were going to live. I know. Because he was in California and she was in St. Louis or something. And it's like, I mean, how does that not come up? Don't you love how people like to point fingers? Yeah. No. They love to point fingers. I don't. Uh, anyway, that David Yontef, 
like, why are you even talking about me? You're like, you're a nobody. You're like, you were never on TV. Aww. Like, I mean, he isn't. He's a Housewives fan. That's all he is. He's a fanboy. Like, like he's <laughs> irritating. And that voice is so annoying. Like, go away. And the only reason I did his stupid podcast is because Leah Black asked me, begged me. Yeah. I didn't want to do Like, like who is that guy? You know, it, when we met him, he was hanging out outside the studios in New York where they film Watch What Happens Live. That's when I met him. Because he would hang out there to, to like, I don't know, get autographs or t pictures with he's the a, guests. He's a fanboy. He's irritating. Yeah. Ugh. And his boy sounds like this. He talks like this. And oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he got it. it's like it's like nails to a chalkboard. Like I don't know how he even has a podcast. Cause his voice is so irritating. Well, you know who has a great voice, and I found very uh, interesting was Alex Stein, who we interviewed yesterday. He's going to be on our Rick and Kelly show this week on Patreon, and I really encourage you to join us this week and every week. But check out our Alex Stein interview. I thought I thought it was just it was a really fun conversation i loved yeah. him he was hilarious yeah but we got so rudely interrupted well i mean because I'm joking <laughs> your cousin I'm and her family I'm showed up I'm we probably would have gone another 20 minutes at least like i i, I know we i had a lot more to talk about with him so we'll, we'll give you the whole interview and then we'll have him back on yeah we took the tram the prom the palm springs aerial tramway today have you guys ever done that it's it's such a fun cool experience it is that was our second time we've done this before but it was i think a hundred and something degrees remember it was like 110 yeah. and we went up and it was like 70 yeah so that's the, one of the really cool things is it's 30 to 40 degrees colder when you get to the top of the tram it was ride. 96 degrees here today you guys yeah and we get up there and we brought uh jackets and sweaters and stuff with us because it, it, it was cold up there and there's snow on the ground at the top of the mountain it takes 12 minutes. I want to. I'm going to give, show you some video and read you some stats about the Palm Springs aerial well, tramway. Just wait, real quick. It was so hot today. Yeah. Like every, they're from New York. Oh they, yeah. We, we walked around the. We took them on a walk. And with they the dog. were they were dying on the way back. It was hilarious. Yeah. We we thought we were going to continue our walk onto El Paseo and go up and down and do some shopping and whatever, but we were all banged up and. After, I don't know, 20 minutes in the sun, in the heat, Tara was the first one, I think, to say, I, I think we should go back. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, so the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway was conceived in 1935. I guess 1936. Rick asked me. Yeah. I was close. It was really a good guess. Construction was delayed many times, and then they had to raise the money, and then the Korean War stopped it again. But they finally did begin construction in 1961, completed it in 1963 so their 60 year anniversary was last september it's a 12 and a half minute ride that begins at the valley station at 2643 feet you go up this sheer mountain face you go through it says five life zones biomes i don't know what that means on its way and then you you wind up at mountain station which is 8516 feet above sea level you're uh on it's not the tallest mountain in southern california but it's it, you're up there Again, with snow. Since 1963, over 20 million people have traveled this 10, 12 minute, two and a half mile ride. The floor of that uh, tramway, the aerial tram cars, the floor rotates constantly, slowly, but it rotates. So it makes two complete revolutions throughout the duration of the journey. So you can see in all directions without moving your feet. You just keep, you know, just keep spinning you around. And it holds 80 passengers, so it is the largest of the four rotating aerial trams in the world. How about that? The construction of this thing was, was really challenging. They had to use helicopters to bring the, the materials up. Can you, I mean, it is a, like, a, like a marvel. It, it is a wonder. Like yeah. You get up there and you're like, how do they get like all the supplies and the food and like... Mm -hmm. I guess they bring it up on the tram, but... But it's like how they built this huge and it's it, it, tall up. it was such an engineering challenge it was soon labeled the eighth wonder of the world yes is that what it says yeah shut up it does it is a wonder it yeah. is it really is there are five towers along the way and i was saying this to craig on the way down like to come up with the plan and to execute the construction and this was 
60 years ago of not just a tram to the top of a mountain, but to build it in such a way that it withstands the test of time and actually works and doesn't, you know. But what does it say right there? Can you read, read it to me? In 1950? In 1950, technicians were moving ahead on designs for the tramway, spending more than $250,000 solving riddles of road and tower construction. Funds for the construction were raised by the sale of eight point one five million in private revenue bonds. That's a lot of money for that back then. Mm -hmm. uh, not one cent of public funds were used for either the construction or operation of the tramway. The bonds were paid off. The Korean War was a delay. Engineering challenge. The first tower is the only one that can be reached by road. The helicopters flew some 23,000 missions during the 26 months of construction. So almost a thousand flights per month to bring the men and materials needed to build those other four towers and the 35,000 square foot mountain station mm -hmm. at the top. The guy who came up with the dream with the, with the whole concept, Francis Crocker, uh, he, I believe was, I'm not sure if he was on that inaugural ride. Oh yeah, he rode the tramway numerous times and fellow passengers often would recite, would receive a narration from him as they rode up to where it was nice and cool. Uh, he died in 1992. They remodeled the uh, the thing at the top. It's it's really cool up there, and uh, we highly recommend that you try. You guys have to try it. And we paid, by the way. They're not paying us to talk about it. We uh, just thought it was really cool. And if you're in this area, you should definitely go. Right. I think the sweet spot is going in at four o'clock. Oh, oh, that was remarkable. We went there. We tried to bring Joe Lee and her friends there. Right? Was she with? One yeah, when we went to the Trixie Motel. And. We got to the to the where you paid it to go up the mountain, where you paid to park before you drive up to the parking lot. It was a two or two and a half hour wait once you got up there to get on the tram. Today, there was zero wait. In fact, when we made our way up, we parked and walked into the building. They were boarding a tram, and we didn't have to wait a minute. We just got right in there and got right on the tram, and then went right up the mountain. Mm -hmm. And it was fun. It was really fun. Yeah. We have some comments we wanted to share with you guys, including this one from Karina Kumar Kumarchek. Kelly, please don't change. I like how unfiltered you are. Oh, thanks, Karina. You're so sweet. Do you have any plans to change? Um, no. The answer is no. Changing my diet for the better. More advice about the loungers. Denise AL965, patio furniture spray paint. Works great. Mine has lasted through rain, negative 40 Celsius, hot weather, snow. Been seven years since I painted and still looking good. We heard boat paint. I There's heard, no way a, a, a power washer is going to get this out. It's embedded in there. But a lot of you have said that, so tomorrow we An are going to... SOS pad. If you guys go on Ledger Lounge, I think yeah. that's what it's called. Yes. You can't put any acid. You can't put any... Uh, like I try to do the scrub and made things worse with the SOS yeah. pad. Um but we are going to try the power washer tomorrow. We're going to put one more treatment of I'm stuff gonna on I'm going to put one more of that paste that you guys told me to do. Yeah. And see. It's not that there's no way. It's just, I'm going to have to paint those bad boys. That's it. Hilton HD Mama. HLTN HD Mama. You should interview Spencer Pratt about your hummingbird situation. He knows so much about hummingbirds. So many people who have him on their podcast ask him back. He's also good for bumping up your viewership. Oh, wow. Do you know Spencer Pratt? Uh, I've met him once. Okay. I can reach out to him. Let's do that. Karen Keir. Can this couple get any cuter? Oh, Thanks, you're Karen. Sweet. Lillian Rose said, love your house. Thank you, Lillian. Someone else said they really like the, um, the, the, vi the videos of our barbecues. Uh-huh. I know. That's cute. They like watching our, our videos. We did the story about Caitlin Clark's salary yesterday. Bubs to you said the 2023 revenue for the NBA was more than ten and a half billion dollars. The WNBA revenue was 200 million. Okay, so that's 50 times more for the for the NBA than the WNBA. So no comparison. Which was my point. If they made more money, they could pay more money. But when you go to the game and there's nobody there and nobody's watching on TV, that means there's no revenue coming in. And by the way, Caitlin Clark's going to make a lot of money from endorsements. It's not all about her salary. Her salary's a drop in the bucket. She'll pay her agent with the salary and the rest. Look at look at um, 
Michael Jordan, he made a hell of a lot more money on his endorsements with Nike and everything else yeah. than he did playing for the Bulls. Doris Mason said, I love waking up to this show. Thanks. You know what I forgot to put in here? You sent me some comments. Uh, like nice you ones. You texted me some comments and you didn't I put can't, them in. I, I didn't put them in because we were... I don't have my phone. Oh. Well, you know what? The comments that Kelly texted me today, we're going to read them tomorrow. Uh -huh. Is that okay? In the news now. In the news. Prince Harry has officially renounced his British residency and lists the U.S. as his new country on documents. Prince Harry has renounced his British residency and claimed America as his home. On Wednesday, for his first public remarks since his sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, announced her cancer diagnosis, Harry spoke via a video link at Travelist's annual general meeting. It's a sustainable travel organization that Prince Harry founded in 2019. On it, he declared that his new country state was now the United States. In 2019, his original place of residence was noted as the UK when he founded the organization. So this is a major indicator that Harry has no plans to live in his native country on a permanent basis for the foreseeable future. That Meghan Markle really screwed him up. You think? Yes, it's uh -oh. always the wives. Look at Michael. He was completely okay. Well, you're the wife. You haven't screwed me up. No, I haven't, <laughs> but not yet. <laughs> it's coming. There's still time? Yeah, there's still time. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've only made my life better, more exciting, and more complete. I'm getting a lot of showings on our house in West Hampton. A lot. A lot say, of showings. The new brokers are doing a terrific job. Mm -hmm. It's with Corcoran, and uh, the address is 9 Tanner's Neck Lane, if you want to look it up, in West Hampton. Uh, beautiful uh, property, and I think it's going to sell. We got some good, we got great feedback. Great feedback. People love it, and the broker loves it. I mean, she says it's, just, it's, it's a small house, but it's really well appointed, and it's really cute inside, thanks to this beautiful lady. I made it so much better. Oh, my God. Really we really oh, did a number on it. So my cousin Tony calls me and he's like, yeah, Daily Mail wrote um, a thing about you. I'm like, oh, yeah, really? Yeah, a story in the Daily Mail, yeah. Just a story in the Daily Mail about Rick and I selling the house. And then he says, and then he was, I had to say, uh, the third wife of Rick Leventhal, or how did it go? There's something about uh, uh, his third wife doesn't like the weather out there. His third wife doesn't like <laughs> the weather out there. Would you say that's a dig? By the Daily Mail. I, that wasn't a quote from me. That was what they wrote. Uh, yeah, they wrote that. I don't know if it was a dig, but it was a the very The third nice... wife doesn't like the weather? <laughs> Perhaps. Well, you're my third husband. How come they didn't mention that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but you just set the record straight, so. Oh, my God. I maybe they was... Maybe it was a dig. I don't know. but it, I'm I mean, used to it. They are kind of Everybody like, digs at me. This yeah. lady goes, Kelly, your, your face looks weird. Um, uh, stop doing what stop you're doing. Stop doing filler. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I did a little filler right here. That was it. That one that spot? That was one spot. I show everything. Yeah, you do. I don't lie. You do. But how could you say that her face My is, face got weird. Her face is so beautiful. I want to see what these people look like. Yeah. I honestly do. Somebody says something about me, and then I don't know if it was you who showed me what she looked like. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Well, like, I do. Sometimes I go in and I see, like, like there was, like, I don't know, Lauren Polo or Pogno or whatever, something like that. Or, uh -huh. And I went on Instagram, and I was like, oof. Yeah. She has a freaking audacity. I don't know if it's her, but to say something about To say something about how my face is weird. <laughs> like you're weird. Well, maybe You're weird for being weird. Okay. I mean, unhappy people try to make other people unhappy, right? We hope you're happy. I hope you're happy, you guys. I really wish everybody happiness. Honestly. Me too. I want everybody to wake up in the morning, feel fresh. Help me. We're so happy. We're alive. You know, that's like, we, we have to thank God and, you know, be thankful and grateful that we have our health. Our health is our biggest wealth. And, uh, you know, there's just too much hate in the world. I agree. You know, than to be angry and wake up like that. That just brings negative energy to you. Yeah. It does. Well, My girlfriend is the manifester. She's like, you come in and you're going to write a negative comment on anyone anyone yeah that just brings negative energy right back to you right 
Like it just, it doesn't serve any purpose. So it's a cycle of look for the look for the bright. Look for the side. bright side. Yeah. yeah, and speaking of good health, get your Soul Life mineral supplements because you're gonna feel a heck of a lot better. We do. It was so funny. My cousin Tara was like, God, how are you just like going and like not tired? And you're like, I just cooked and like, she's like, how do you do that? I go, swear to God, it's these vitamins. They're minerals. They're minerals. Yeah. They're not vitamins. They're, they're minerals. minerals. And it's, we need our minerals. minerals. You yeah. need minerals more than <laughs> Shut up, kids. You think pickleball's loud? What about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 you're not getting the minerals you need okay you're getting your vitamins probably and you may take vitamin supplements if you're probably not taking mineral supplements you should be taking them now and you can start with magnesium i'm telling you i've never slept better i take two magnesium a night before i go to bed I sleep like a rock and and it's really good for uh to replacing the stuff you deplete when you work out See, we should get a decibel reader on them. We should turn them in this city. We're if, having kids. If that, if that scream was coming from that house, I would call the cops right now. Because you oh, like, call the cops on us like 15 on times. Oh, 15, legit 15 times. <laughs> but they're at the house next door, so it's cool. I don't care. Jeff Jeffries. No, they're cute. <laughs> I think someone might be, I don't even want to say it. Renting? Oh, yeah, for sure. Look That's at this hummingbird. Both of them. Look, 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 guys. Oh, yeah. Look, hey, look, guys. look, look. Come back. There's oh another God. one. There's four of them, at least, that we know. Someone of. says that's like a gift from God. It's it is. like a, a sign. Yeah. It's a blessing. I need, I need a lot of signs, you guys. <laughs> so I got hooked up with an agent today. Oh, ah. yeah. Um, just to let you guys know. I'm going by, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going by what the psychic said. Yeah. So get yourself an agent. Well, I did exactly what she told me to do. We have a Zoom coming up. I think it's next <laughs> week, right? Yeah. I'm going to say we, you, have a Zoom. But I'll jump in there and, and say hi. But uh, I'm happy for you, excited for you. Thank you. And there's, there are great things happening for you and for both I hope for these are the us. hummingbirds that are, you know. I saw one of them just went back over there. Have a great day, everybody. Have a great day. Smash smash-tastic day. Yeah. God bless. And we'll have see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.